Hi, good evening, Jose Arturo. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? I'm great, thanks. So how was the, your day? Um, very nice. That's very nice. Did you have to work today? Yes. Okay, that's good. Nice. How was the weekend? Great. It was great. I have do... a... Go ahead. I have a great weekend. Nice. Did you do anything special? Um, yeah. Nothing. Only home. Okay, only staying home. All right. Do you have any kids at home? Yes, I have two kids. Oh, you got two kids. That's nice. Are they little? What? Are they okay. little? Yes, uh, eight years old and 14 years old. Oh, okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. You have some company at home. <laughs> yes. That's cool. And then, Jose Arturo, did you get any help with the platform, with the problem you had with the platform? No sé si me le ayudaron con el problema que me decía del porcentaje. Oh, sí, sí, sí. Ya está oh, okay. completo. Okay, perfect. That's great. Gracias. All right, you're welcome. Hi, Jason. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Excellent. How was the weekend, Jason? Mm. So, so. <laughs> so, so? Really? Why? What happened? Because the the Saturday is a little boring, and the oh. Sunday is very busy. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. So, so. <laughs> okay, yes. that's good. Hi, Carla. Good evening. Good evening, Mauricio. Good night, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, and you? How's everything? Fine, fine. Thanks, God. Okay, that's nice. How was work? Uh, very hard because it's a physical event to the week, and oh, okay. it's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, you have a lot but of work. Yeah, I have a lot of work, thanks God, too. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Yeah. Hi, Lorena, good evening. Oh, maybe she's not listening yet. <laughs> so have you had the chance to, to work in a platform? ¿Han tenido tiempo de trabajar en plataforma? Yes. Yes. I'm yes. I'm working on the phone. So, what section? Section 2.6. 2.6. Okay. That's good. How about you, Jose Arturo? Um, section 3. Section three, nice. That's great. Keep going. Jason, what section are you in? Eh, yo he tenido algunos problemas teacher, con lo de la universidad. Entonces, ah. eh, ahorita después de clase terminaría la sección uno y avanzaría por lo menos a la mitad o terminar la sección dos. Muy bien, me parece. Todavía tenemos un poquito de tiempo, nada más que hay que tratar ahí de, de ir avanzando, ¿ok, Jason? All right, Carla, have you worked in the platform?
Hi, Laura. Good evening. Hello. Good night. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. How okay. are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Everything's ah, fine. So have you had the chance to work in a platform, Laura? Yes, I I work in in the weekend. Oh, really? So what section are you in? I in in the third in the third in the third section. Yes. Okay. Sounds great. Lorena, how are you? Fine. Fine, Excellent. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. I can hear you pretty okay. well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I am in section was... three. Okay, that's nice. Very good. How was the weekend? Well, so good. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Only that that, that today uh, my hamster dead. Dead? How do you say that? Murió? Oh, it died? Yes. Oh, that's so I bad. Was, I was, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's sad. So yes. how long did you have it? About three years. Three years. Yeah, that's yes. a lot. Yeah, so but sad. it was part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Okay, so we are just waiting a couple of minutes, okay? Y mientras tanto, les recuerdo, los que no han llegado a la sección 3, por favor, hacer lo posible para que lleguemos esta semana. Para el día jueves estaríamos cubriendo en clase lo que es el midterm test y pues esperaríamos que ya jueves, viernes estén todos por ahí en la sección 3 que la hayan completado, ¿verdad? Si puede adelantar mucho más que eso, perfecto. That's perfect, ¿ok? Just keep going. Take advantage of any time you have to work in the platform. And remember that if you have any questions, just um, write to me, let me know, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. So did you do the homework? Yes, we did. I yes. did. Okay. Yes. You have the plan. have right here okay nice <laughs> we're just going to wait for one minute and then we're going to start with our plans okay okay so please get ready yes and you what did you do on your weekends well, I went out with some cousins and my sisters. So we went to to Santa Ana. Well, I live in Candelaria, so we went oh. to Santa Ana Center, you know. Okay. Yeah, we went there and ate at a restaurant. And had some ah, okay. fun. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Nice. <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Especially when it's been so long since the last time yeah. I was there. So. Yeah. So yeah. It was nice. Was nice. Okay, so I think we may start now. Let me just get my presentation. And as I mentioned before, we are going to start with the plan to celebrate a coming holiday or a special occasion. So this is what we are going to do. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms. So you have some time to, to share with a classmate first. So you take turns to, to say your plan, to share your plan with your classmate. And then we are going to come back and have some people share with the whole class, okay? I'll be visiting you too. And so, yeah, let me just hear about the holidays and special occasions you chose. Let's see, Jason, what's your holiday or special occasion? Mm, Christmas Day. Christmas? Okay, sounds yes. good. 
Yes, that's very special. Lorena, what's yours? My anniversary. Your anniversary. Is it a wedding anniversary? Yes, a wedding okay. anniversary. That's nice. In Mauricio, what's your holiday or special occasion? A uh, holiday is the New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, okay. Sounds great. Laura, what's yes. yours? Honeymoon. Honeymoon, okay. That's nice. Irving, <laughs> what is yours? <laughs> Sorry, Irvin, what's your special occasion or holiday? University. Um, what is it, sorry? Ah, que cual holiday or special occasion escogió para el plan? Was it? Okay, don't worry. You'll have time to share with a classmate. Don't worry. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to have three minutes to share about your plans. And let me see. Okay, I'm just sending you. Please accept the invitation once you get it. There we are. Okay, please accept the invitation so you get into the breakout room. El plan que de la celebración o holiday uh, para que se lo, des la tarea. lo disfrutamos. Ah, es correcto. Para que nos disfrutáramos. Okay. Así que. Entonces, estaba viendo. ¿La hiciste? Sí, la leo. Creo que. I read. Creo que yo creo que sí, porque eso es lo que estaba, creo que estaba discutiendo que, que la leyéramos. Pero... Ok. Voy pues. October, yes. some people celebrate Halloween, but I don't like to celebrate Halloween. My family and I prefer to celebrate Thanksgiving at home. My husband going to cook dinner and I going to take my parents to have dinner together. Okay, van a celebrar en tu familia, toda tu familia ahí entonces. Mm -hmm. To think about something that you would like to celebrate. En Meca, ¿qué harías? ¿Qué vas a dar de comer? ¿Qué a quién vas a invitar? Wow. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. y, y eso lo vamos a ir a decir ya ahorita que estemos allá en grupo lo vamos a ir a decir con todos así que sería bueno que escribieras algo para que lo tengas en ah, vale. es cierto entonces básicamente es eh, redactar unas oraciones sobre lo que sobre. harían una so, celebración de X yeah. sí. una celebración ajá. ya sea verde, ya sea eh, Christmas, ya sea New 
cosas así por el estilo, ¿verdad? para poder ir haciendo como que un pequeño plan con lo que vos harías ese día, ese día especialmente. ¿verdad? Hi, teacher. Hi. Have you practiced? Not yet. Yes, yes, uh, but I, I help my classmate. All right, that's great. So tell yes. me about your plan, Jason. Ah, okay. Uh, my favorite or my special holiday in year is Christmas Day because I, I eat with my family, I celebrate with my family, I'm dancing, I'm drinking. All, uh, soda, agua, todo, the water, todo lo que sea. Okay, a bit of everything. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and I, teacher, como siempre he tenido esa duda, como se dice reventar cohetes, o reventar cohetes. Uh, we use fireworks or firecrackers. Fireworks. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Fireworks or firecrackers. Yes. Que normalmente los fireworks son los las luces que explotan como en el Fuegos cielo. Fuegos artificiales, ¿verdad? Fuegos Exactamente. Artificiales. Y uh -huh. los firecrackers serían más como los cohetes pequeños. Wow. Los pilicrackers. Firecrackers, yeah, similar to that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. Thank you. And this is my plan. All right. Sounds great. Thank you. Okay, see you in a moment. To share a special food and cake will be an important day for celebrating together. Okay, my turn. New Year's Eve, I'm going to celebrate New Year's Eve on December 31st. And I'm going to invite all my family and some friends. We are going to have a dinner with a special food and we will remember good time of the year. At 12 at night, we will thanks to God for everything. This is my plan to December in New Year's Eve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh... I have um, uh, my brother, too. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Great. So welcome to the class. Have you shared your plans with your classmates? Thank you. What will I do at Christmas Day? I'm yep. going to eat bread with chicken. Um, I'm going to go to, ha to house my parents' house. Mm, no, no. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to go to my parents' house. Exactly. Great. I'm going to, to go to the beach. All right. I'm going to go to my friend's wedding. That's exciting. It's great. I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to go to the river. Yes, it sounds Thank like you. a nice plan. Excellent, Noemi. Thank you. Okay, so we are back to the main group in just 30 seconds, okay? Okay. Um, Entonces, ¿qué Arturo nos puede repetir? ¿Ah? Era la segunda, era de las oraciones que nos dejó, la que decía, Where are you going to go? Where are you? Okay, so we're back. Let's see, now I need a volunteer to share with you. Okay. Do I have any volunteers to share with okay, you? Sure. All right, go ahead, Mauricio. What? 
Okay, my plans for the New Year's Eve. I'm going to celebrate New Year's Eve, Eve on December 31st. And I'm going to invite all my family and some friends. We are going to have a dinner with the special food and we will remember good health at night. We will thanks to God for everything. This is my plan. Excellent. For December. It's for a special plan. Thanks. Let's see, Carla Enriquez. Yeah. Share your plan with us. <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, some October, no, sorry. October, some people celebrate Halloween, but I don't like to celebrate Halloween. My family and I prefer to celebrate Thanksgiving at home. My husband going to cook dinner and I going to take my parent to have dinner together. Okay, that. that's great. Sounds okay. very good. Okay, one more volunteer to share with us. Let's see. Hey, teacher. Okay, Lorena, go ahead. I'm going to celebrate my 26th anniversary on November 28th. For that occasion, we're going to reserve a space in Pueblo Viejo restaurant located in Metro Sur. We're going to invite some members of our family and some friends. And we're going to eat chicken with rice and some salad. After dinner, we're going to dance and enjoy it very much. Very good. Excellent, Lorena. Thank you. All right, so just a couple of details to remember when talking about plans. Remember to use going to in the in the uh, complete structure, right? Use am, is, or are, then the going to, and then the verb, then you add a complement, right? No nos olvidemos usualmente y cuando hablamos eh, rápido, a veces incluso la misma pronunciación nos hace obviar, pero siempre hay que recordar que un elemento importante de las oraciones con going to es el am, is, or are, el verb be. Eso no debe dejarse, aunque lo tome con, con la forma contractada, pero siempre debe incluirlo. ¿Ok? Y mm -hmm. la otra cosita es con las preposiciones. Al hablar de fechas, recordemos que utilizamos on, on November the 2nd, on December 31st. Y cuando usamos solamente el mes, usamos in, ¿verdad? Así que siempre tenerlo en cuenta. De igual forma, cuando utiliza al inicio de una oración, siempre debe usar la preposición. In November, I'm going to go to Las Vegas. In December, I'm going to celebrate Christmas. And so on. Siempre se utiliza independientemente de en qué parte de la oración lo pongamos. Siempre el mes va a ir acompañado de in y la fecha completa va a ir acompañada de on. Ok, any questions? Maybe not. All right, so let's go. Yeah, teacher, yo tenía esa duda al iniciar. Uh -huh. Al iniciar. Eh, tendría que haber iniciado on October. October. On October, dijo la fecha completa. Some people. Ah, no, then solo el mes. In October. Si dice solo el mes, in. In October. In October. Uh -huh. Ok, in October, aunque sea people... el, el, el inicio del párrafo. Sí, no importa, siempre hay que decirlo. Es como en español, decimos en octubre, right? In October. Ok, uh -huh. thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No. Okay, so before we continue, I'd like to know if you have any questions or doubts about any of the exercises in the platform or any special topic that you need me to reinforce. No sé si hay consultas en cuanto a los ejercicios de la plataforma o algún tema en específico en el que necesitemos eh, ahondar más o explicar algo. No questions? Okay. All right. So anyways, if you remember anything, just let me know, okay? 
si de repente se le surge alguna duda por ahí o algo que se le olvide en este momento, me dice y lo resolvemos. Uh, All right. Okay. I have any question, please. Tell me. Um, in the topic 3.9, direction and conversation, is it far from here? Uh, only are two ways to make a question. Um, so what do you mean, two ways to make a question? Uh, and, the, and the platform, uh, we have, how do I get it? How do I get to mm -hmm. plus place? And yes. how can I get to plus place? Mm -hmm. Only two ways. Yes, that's how we usually ask about, uh, well, ask for directions, right? How can I get to the park? Or how do I get Wait, to, get to right? the park? Exactly. So those are the two most common questions. Sí, esa sería la, la pregunta, bueno, las dos preguntas más comunes que hacemos en esa ocasión o en esa situación. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay, any other question? Okay, so let's continue then. So here, we're going to, to play a game. It's called name five. For this, we are using the chat. So please everybody open your chat, your chat tab. And this is what we are going to do. I am going to give you a category. So that may be um, colors or months or countries maybe. And then you have to name five of those. Le voy a decir una categoría y usted tiene que escribir cinco cosas o cinco elementos que pertenezcan a esa categoría. For example, countries, countries. Then you start writing, for example, Sweden, mm. Canada, or countries. El Salvador. El Salvador. Uh -huh. Guatemala. Spain. Guatemala. Guatemala. Spain. Guatemala and Spain. Spain. Okay. So you get five and you send them in the chat, okay? The fastest mm -hmm. person is getting one point, okay? Okay. Okay. Vamos, a, a, vamos a ir participando todos ahí en el chat. Va enviando su respuesta. El primero, si tiene la respuesta correcta, gana un punto. And so on, okay? So let's see. Let's start with name five. The first category we have is name five animals. Name five animals. Recuerde escribirlos todos en una sola participación para que no nos interrumpan, porque como estamos todos escribiendo. So, name five and then you send them. Okay, Laura got all five. Lion, seal, dog, duck, and skunk. Great. All right, nice, very good. Laura, you have one point. Nuria got them all yeah. two. Lion, cat, dog, elephant, mouse. Roberto. That's elephant, tiger, monkey, dog, and cat. Good. Okay, let's continue with the second category. Name five parts of the body. Name Repeat, five please. parts of the body. Name five parts of the body. Partes del cuerpo, parts of the body. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura got chin, chest, breast, head, and tooth. Great, Laura, you got another point. So you got two. <laughs> nice, also Jason got head, eye, mouth, leg, hand, and arm. Good, and a root, mouth, eye, nose, elbow, and head. Great. Okay, we have a third category and it is colors. Name five colors.
Jason, you got red, blue, green, orange, and purple. Very good. Jason, you get a point. So we got Laura two and Jason one. Then Carla got pink, blue, yellow, green, and black. Good. All right, nice. Next one. Name five months of the year. Jason got, let's see, January, February, May, June, and let's see, I lost it. May, June, July, and April. Very good, Jason. You got two. So two points for Jason and two for Laura, too. Nice. And we have the last category now. It's holidays and special occasions. Name five holidays and special occasions. Okay, Laura says Valentine's Day, Death Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, and uh, and Women's Day. Okay, very good, Laura. So Laura won. Yeah. Laura, you got three points. Great. Okay, very good. We got birthday, anniversary, Christmas, New Year, Mother's Day. Very good, Jose Arturo. Ana Ruth, you got them too. Great. Yes. All right, nice. So now let's continue. Very good, thank you for participating everybody. So now let's talk a little bit about have plus noun. So first, let's remember about the parts of the body. Which ones do you remember? Let's see, parts yes. of the body. Elbow. Head, elbow, chest, ears, chest, ears, mouth. eyes, mouth, stomach, stomach, hands, hands, hands. Uh -huh. food, 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 teeth, leg. teeth, food. tooth, leg, leg. Fingers. eye, mouth, Shoulder. nose, okay, nails, neck, nice, Trust. just. Stomach. Ears. Okay. Eyes. All right. Nice. You remember them all. Okay. That's pretty good. So now let's talk a little bit about symptoms and illnesses. How to express them. Ahora vamos a hablar un poquito de cómo hablar o cómo expresar nuestros síntomas y enfermedades. Cuando no nos sentimos muy bien, cómo podemos decirlo. So we use the verb have plus noun. And first of all, the questions that we can use in order to ask about that is, are what's the matter and what's wrong? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema o qué pasa, right? What's wrong? Same thing. So please everybody repeat, what's the matter? 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 What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, and then in order to answer, we use have. For example, I have a headache. I have, I have, a, have a headache. I have a backache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I have the flu. Okay, so remember that for the verb have, we have two different forms, have and has. Utilizamos have for I, you, we, and they. I have, you have, we have, they have. But for he, she, and it, we use the form has. has. Exactly. 
She has, he has, it has. Recordemos esa pequeña diferencia. Por ejemplo, si estoy hablando de mi hija, my daughter. I do not say my daughter has, but my daughter has. My daughter has a headache. My daughter has a backache. My mm -hmm. daughter has the flu. Okay? Yes. So remember that. We have have and has. And then in order to talk about some symptoms and illnesses, we need to know about the word or the or this part that is called ache. Vamos a hablar, eh, ya en la conversación habíamos encontrado estas palabras, backache y headache, que no sé si recordamos el significado. Yeah, dolor de cabeza y dolor de espalda. Exacto. Entonces, en sí podemos decir que eh, la terminación ache significa dolor, right? Ache. And we use it together with another word. Y la usamos junto a otra palabra que normalmente va a indicar la parte del cuerpo que le duele. Por ejemplo, headache, dolor de cabeza. Backache, dolor de espalda. También tenemos earache, que sería dolor de oídos. Earache. 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 Exactly. Another stomach word that we use is stomachache. Great. Tomaki. Toothache. Toothache, exactly. Toothache. Esas serían las más comunes. Estas, recuerde, utilizamos primero la parte del cuerpo que nos duele y luego agregamos la terminación ache. Earache, headache, stomachache y la pronunciación igual al final. La, eh, solamente agregamos el sonido, digamos, ache. ache. Entonces ache. es lo mismo de la parte del cuerpo con la terminación ache. Head ache, headache, headache, back ache, back ache. Bajen el televisor, por favor. Ah, mucho ruido, teacher. Yes. Eh, let me, yo los voy a, le voy a apagar los micrófonos yo acá. And please be careful with that. Thank you. Okay. All right, so uh, please repeat, headache. 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 Backache. 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 Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Toothache. 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 Okay, very good. So that is what we have for ache. También para hablar de dolores tenemos esta otra palabra que es sore. Como en el ejemplo sore throat. Sore throat, que sería dolor de garganta. Sore throat. Dolor de garganta. Eh, la palabra sore se puede utilizar tanto para referirse a dolores como a ardor. So it could be like sore eyes too. Guys, with your microphones. Okay. All right, so we can use it also in the expression sore eyes que sería como ardor en los ojos, no precisamente dolor, sino que también como ardor. So you use it that way. And also a third word that we can use for expressing this kind of symptom is pain. Una tercera palabra que podemos utilizar dolor. para dolor es pain. Y esa la utilizamos en oraciones como I have a pain in my, and then you mentioned the part of the body that aches, right? Ahí agregamos la parte del cuerpo que nos duele. I have a pain in my hand. I have a pain in my head. Or I have a pain in my leg. Or I have a pain in my ankle, and so on. Ahí puede ir cambiando. Esta la puede utilizar con todas las partes del cuerpo. Y luego con... 
ache, pues sí tenemos las más comunes, que serían estas cinco que hemos mencionado. Y las de sore, que normalmente utilizamos como sore throat y sore eyes. Pain, sí, puede aplicar para todas las partes del cuerpo, ¿ok? I have a pain in my, and then you add the part of the body. So, any questions? No. No questions? It's okay. All no, right. Okay. Great. So, now let's mention more symptoms and illnesses. Ya hablamos de dolores. ¿Qué otros síntomas en illnesses can we add? Illnesses se refiere a enfermedades comunes. Um, la palabra hurt. Ah, ok. La palabra hurt sería un verbo para indicar que nos duele. Ahí ya no yeah. estaríamos diciendo tengo un dolor, sino que me duele. Like, my hand hurts. My hand hurts. Me duele la mano, right? Or my knee hurts. Me duele la rodilla. In that case, we use it as a verb. Ese sí sería un verbo que significa doler, right? Me duele. Or if you conjugate it, like, te duele. Maybe your stomach hurts. Okay? Okay, thanks. Right? So, some other symptoms and illnesses that you know. A ver si conocemos otros síntomas, otras enfermedades, además de los dolores. So, here we have uh, the first example, flu. The flu is gripe, right? There's also the word cold. cold. We can use to refer to Orleans almost flu. the same. Eh, cold, cel, um, sorry, cold. Sería más como un Let's resfriado. Y flu es una gripe un poco más fuerte, gripe. right? Mm -hmm. Any others? Allergies. Yes, allergies that are so common in these days. Mm -hmm. Any others? Mm. How about the no cough? Cough. I just added it. Cough. 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 La GH se pronunciaría como una F, más o menos. Cough. Cough. Eso es siempre. Sí, en la mayoría de casos aplica. Cough. Any others? So let me tell you the chicken pox. Esa sería um, varicela. Chicken pox. Also, when you feel hot, how do you say that? When you feel hot. Mm -hmm. Fever. Fever, exactly. Fever. Any others? The hiccups. Eso sería hipo. Hiccups. Hiccups. I have the hiccups. Let's see also, Did let's mention insomnia. Sorry, what was that one? I think somebody said something. Runny nose. Runny nose. Yes, that's a good Runny one nose. too. Thank you. Runny nose. Sería como Runny estar nose. mocoso, right? Mm -hmm. eh, o como sinusitis, quizás. Um, yeah, sido... similar to that. Fiebre mm -hmm. de heno. Mm -hmm. Yes, to have a runny nose. Any others? Tenemos más ejemplos o tal vez algo que quisiéramos saber cómo se dice. Dolor de los dientes, teacher. Oh, yeah. We have it here. It's toothache. Este sería oh. toothache. Uh -huh. Okay. Artritis, miss. Artritis. Artritis. It's the same. You just pronounce it different. Artritis. Artritis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried. I tried this. I tried. 
Okay, so now it's time to repeat. Headache. 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 Backache. 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 Flu. 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 Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Earache. 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 Stomachache. 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 Toothache. Toothache. Pain. Pain. I have a pain in my. I have a pain in my hand. Cold. Oh. Allergies. 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 Cough. 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 Chicken pox. Chicken, Chicken pox. pox. Fever. 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 Hiccups. Hiccups. Insomnia. 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 Runny nose. Runny nose. Runny nose. I tried it. Okay, any questions about this? No, okay. Right, good. So let's continue then. So now that we have talked about have, we are going to consider the verb feel. In this case, we do not use a noun, we use an adjective, right? And the questions that we may use are, how are you or how do you feel? La pregunta más frecuente y más común que hacemos is, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Right? And then you may also ask, how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? La segunda, estaríamos preguntando, ¿cómo te sientes? How do you feel? So please repeat, how are you? How are you? How are you? How, are you? how do you feel? Do you feel? Ok, a diferencia de el verbo have, este lo utilizamos con un adjetivo. En el caso de have, usamos nombres, como por ejemplo las enfermedades. Tengo un dolor de cabeza. In this case, you use adjectives. En el caso de feel, usamos adjetivos para describir cómo nos sentimos en dado momento. For example, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. ¿Qué sería? Me siento eh, nostálgico, right? Nostálgico. Nostálgico. Yes, remember that eh, homesick sería como nostálgico. Eh, cuando extrañamos nuestras cosas, tal vez a nuestra mm -hmm. familia, nuestro país, eh, nuestra casa, etc. Y eh, si le quitamos el home y dejamos solo sick, entonces sería enfermo. I feel sick. Yes. Ok. We also have I feel better. Me siento mejor. Uh -huh. Or I don't feel well. No me siento bien. I don't feel well. Then we also have here some more adjectives that we may use. Like I feel sick. I feel sick. Then we have I feel awful. That is like something um, so bad, such a bad feeling, like when you feel very terrible and sick and so on. So you say you feel awful. 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 I e W sonarían como O. Awful. 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 Okay. We also have terrible. Make a awful. sentence, please, Mauricio. Terrible. I feel. Terrible? Or do you want uh, another example? No, you make a sentence. Hagamos la oración utilizando feel. Okay. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Very good. Next one, Ana Ruth. I feel miserable. Miserable. Very good. Next one, please, Roberto. I feel fine. Okay, great. Then we have this one, Jason. 
Okay. I feel great. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Um, Carla Cerritos, help me with the next one, please. Carla Cerritos. Oh, okay. So here she says, I feel terrific. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Okay. And then also, please don't get confused with these two words, terrific and terrible. No nos confundamos con esas dos palabras. Terrific sería algo positivo. It's when you feel very good. Right, very well. You are just doing fine. You are doing great. It's terrific, right? But then the negative one would be terrible. Eh, de repente el terrific podría sonar como como algo malo, pero en realidad no lo es. Es algo super bueno. When you say you feel terrific, it's because you are pretty well. Cuando decimos que es eh, que nos sentimos terrific es porque estamos súper bien eh, es, nos está bad. yendo yeah, something like that, right? Okay. entonces sí, eh, hay que tener cuidado con esas dos, terrible and terrific any questions so far? no sé si tenemos preguntas no, teacher no questions. Okay. And then okay. also remember for the third person, we add S. So we say feels. She feels, he feels, it feels. Okay. En este caso, no se cambia la forma, sino que solo se le agrega la S. En el caso de have, teníamos has. En el caso de feel, solo agregamos S a la tercera persona y se convierte en feels. He feels, he feels, it feels. It feels. Okay, so everybody repeat, please. Homesick. 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 Better. I'm saying better. 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 Well. 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 Better. Sick. 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 Awful. 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 Terrible. 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 Miserable. 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 Fine. 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 Great. 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 Terrific. 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 Okay, I think we are missing this one. Fantastic. 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 Okay, so let's add some more adjectives. Do we have any ideas of any other adjectives we can use to express feelings? Uh, tired. Tired. I feel tired, definitely. Any others? Fabulous. 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 Bad. He okay. feel bad. Ooh. Fabulous, bad. Any other? Uh, exhausted. Brady. Exhausted. Stress. What is the other one? Sorry. Stress. Oh, stressed. Stressful. Uh -huh. Or stressful. Uh -huh. Sad. Sorry. Triste. Oh, sad. Uh -huh. Great. Great. Curious. Curious. Uh -huh. That's a nice one. Angry. Angry. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I feel lovely. Lovely. Fine. lovely. Mm -hmm. Do we have more adjectives to add? 
Like, I feel excited also. Excited. Mm -hmm. Or nervous. Exactly, nervous. nervous, confused, nervous. Mm -hmm. We have any others? Good. Happy. I feel good too. I feel happy. Mm -hmm. Scared. Eh, furioso, Scared. pero no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Curious. Curious. Okay, so now please repeat. Tired. 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 Yeah, it sounds, let me write it. Let me just add the pronunciation over here. Like, Tired, something like that, let's say. Tired. 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 Okay. Tired. Tired. Okay, Tired. So then we have fabulous. 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 Bad. 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 Okay, exhausted. 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 Sad. 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 Great. 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 Curious. 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 Angry. Angry. Lovely. Lovely. Excited. Excited. Confused. Confused. Nervous. 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 Good. Good. Happy. 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 Scared. 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 Furious. Furious. Okay, pretty good. Do we have any questions about this topic? No sé si tenemos preguntas de este tema. The difference uh, in stress, stress and stressful. Okay. What is the difference, teacher? So there is no difference. They just refer to the same thing. They just similar in, in meaning, okay? Okay, so, thank you. Yeah, they're just synonyms. Son sinónimos, significan lo mismo. Uh, Pueden ser utilizados okay. de igual forma, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Any other questions? No, no more. Okay, we only have two minutes. So let's see, in the remaining two minutes, let's talk about some common medications. Let me just clear this. Okay, so common medications. I think you have seen the video, right? ¿Ya vieron el video de los common medications? Yes. Yes? So which ones do you remember? I have uh, uh, aspirin. 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 Antiacid. Aspirin. Antiacid. Cold pills. Cold pills. pills. Muscle cream. Bi Muscle oh, cream. Up. Cough syrup. Eye drops. Uh -huh. Eardrops. Eardrops. No, eye drops. Eye drops. Eh, eye los drops. dos se pueden yeah. decir. Ahí podemos decir ear drops y también eye drops. Porque las drops son gotitas. Entonces podrían ser bien gotitas para los ojos. Eye drops. O ear drops. O gotitas para los oídos. Entonces las dos son posibles. Uh -huh. Any others Muscle that you spray. remember? Muscle spray. Ok. Uh -huh. yeah, mas, mas 
muscle scream. Very good. Brain. Any other common medication that you know about? Analgesic. Analgesics, okay. Nice. All right, so it's time to finish with the class. So thank you very much for your attention. And yes, tomorrow we are going to continue studying the common medications. So if you may check the video or check some other common medications that we may add to the list, that will be great. And remember to continue practicing the platform, okay? Have a good night. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Good Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher.